picture. Alright, cool. Are you thirsty or anything, Ryan? Do you want like, oh, no, yeah, you gotta yeah, 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 yeah. water. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, that's a hydrated. <laughs> Alright, let's make sure I'm not in the shot. Okay. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, All right. so, so you're gonna be like, look at you. you can, look at I don't, you can look at me if you want. Let's, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Right, right. We'll just do it like that. Alright. So, new IFBB Pro. Ryan Frager. Yeah, so, <laughs> just got your pro card. Yep. Down yeah. in Miami. Yeah. So, how, how was that? What did it feel like to get it? And what were you thinking? Were you, were you thinking you were going to get it? To be honest, no. I was so... I was super confident going into the show. Uh, like, leading up into it and stuff. And, like... Me and my coach were like really confident. We were like, yeah, you know, we're going to do good. Once I got there and then I think I got there and then the next day was weigh-in time. We got there Wednesday. Thursday was weigh-in. Thursday morning. Or, yeah, yeah, like earlier. Um, so I got there and went to weigh-ins. Once I went to weigh-in and I was like one of the first people to weigh-in because I was trying to eat right after and then I started seeing other people like coming in and like some of them were in my class and I was just like, these dudes are 10 times bigger than me. <laughs> like there's no way. And then like my confidence just slowly started going down. I was just like, I think I went back to the room and I was telling her and I was just like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do too good. And then, um, afterwards, once we, uh, the next day when it was actually like showtime, uh, pre-judging and we were like all like pumping up and warm up and stuff you know whenever you're in the warm-up area you know pumping up you're like checking everybody else out and stuff so I'm like looking around and looking at all these other dudes and I'm just like all these dudes are like in shape all of them are like big <laughs> and I'm just like man I don't think I'm gonna do good at all and then my confidence just it like went oh, I've never been that like non-confident so my confidence went down and I was just like, whoop, like, I'm going to just go out there and have fun. So I think that kind of helped me a little bit because it was, I didn't have like the pressure of, you know, I have to perform good or anything. In my mind, I was just like, it's my first national show, you know, I just want to go out and have fun. And yeah. as long as I have fun and <laughs> don't embarrass myself, <laughs> then it'll be good. So that kind of like took the weight off my shoulder and I just went out there and had fun. And um, whenever they called my number, like the first call out, I was just, I was shocked. Like, <laughs> I was super <laughs> surprised. I was like, wow, like, I made the first call outs. And then after that, like, it, they took us through one posing round, and I was still um, sitting like third or fourth place. And then they switched me and another, they're switching other people around, but they, I stayed in the same spot. So I was like, okay, you know, top three, top four, it's not, it's not that bad. And then they switched me with one of the guys that was in the middle. And so I stayed in there for like another round of posing. And I was like, oh, okay, like maybe I'm top two now. So then at that point I knew I was definitely top three and maybe top two. So then the nervousness set in again of whether I was gonna get that top two to get my pro card. And so I was just like, the whole rest, I couldn't sleep that night. Like the whole rest of the night I was uh, talking to my wife and she was, we were just, we both can sleep because it's just like, man, like, I think I may get my pro card, but I don't know, I may be in third, you know, because they kind of did switch me late. Yeah. So I didn't know if they just put me there to um, just, you know, compare because sometimes they just switch people just to switch them. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, I know I'm top three, but I don't know yeah. if I got that second place finish or not. So, yeah, it was definitely a surreal. I was nervous the whole time. I was nonstop nervousness until it was pretty much over. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got second, right? And then yeah, I got yeah. second. Um at after pre judging, went back and of course ate and stuff and like I said, I was just nervous the whole time. That night I didn't sleep. And then that next day was the finals. And so finals uh came around and stuff did the posing routine and all that and then once we lined up i was just like i remember before finals i was telling her like hey whatever happens happens yeah. like i hope i get the pro card but if i don't you know top three you know yeah. first nationals that's 
that's pretty good. So it's like, I'll be happy either way. And she, the whole time she was just like, I, I, you're top two. Like, I know you're top two. And my coach is saying the same thing. But in my head, I was just like, you know, it happens all the time. They'll move people around. Yeah. And they'll move somebody in the center. And, you know, that person will think that they got that first or second place finish. And then they end up getting no third or fourth. So I just didn't know. And then whenever uh, they called the third place guy, and I knew I was the last two. Like I just, there was a party going off in my head because I was just yeah. like, I'm like, I don't even care if I got first. Like yeah. I got second, and that was like tremendous achievement for yeah. me. And I was just so happy. Even when they called, him, there's, I think, uh, one of my friends took a video. Even when they called me for second, I was just like so happy. Like you would have thought I won. Like, I was just so happy because. I had accomplished, you know, what I set out to do, and I was yeah. getting my pro card, yeah. and it was just, it was so surreal, like, the, yeah. I, that feeling, I just, I cannot describe that feeling, it just felt so good. Yeah. That's like, that's what every bodybuilder wants to, wants to yeah, do. Yeah, just like, just to, to have that feeling of accomplishing something, like, you go through prep for 16, 20 weeks, you know, sometimes a little bit longer, and to go through like all that and then plus like you still have like regular stuff in your life going on yeah. and it it seems like it's like amplified whenever you go through prep like the littlest thing you're just like you stress out about and stuff and at the same time like i was getting ready for finals in school and stuff so i'm just like stressed out the whole time those last couple weeks and then like for all that stress and stuff for me to like finally be able to achieve what I had set out from, you know, the beginning of the year um, last year to be able, like, to finally see it, like, come true and, like, all yeah. that hard work pay off was just, like, the best fun in the world. Yeah. Well, it's it's interesting because this is this was only, like, your third show, right? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was um, it was my third show, and I, like I said, I did not expect it to happen that fast. Yeah. I thought that it would would have took a lot longer. Like I didn't even um, expect to do nationals this year. I was gonna yeah. wait another year, you know, try to put on a little bit more size. And yeah. it's funny because everybody kept telling me that I was ready, but I just I didn't think that I was ready. And then I the kind of the like thing that really pushed me was my wife she was just like you need to go yeah. like you you need to do this now and I was like I know if she's telling me that I need yeah. to that I definitely like I'm ready and I need to just go ahead and do it so, yeah well she knows her stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that's awesome yeah. so 